Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. As we were talking about sports in this unit, we're going to talk about one of the most famous sport events around the world, which is the Olympic Games. We are going to talk about the ancient Olympic Games and the modern Olympic Games, what is the similarities that they share and what is the differences between them. We are on page 54. But before going to the text as usual, I want you to go through some words and definitions. You need them to understand the text better. The first one, Olympic Games. What do we mean by Olympic Games? The Olympic Games are a set of international sports competitions which take place every four years each time in a different country. Athletics The general name for a particular group of sports in which people compete including running, jumping and throwing Fencing The sport of fighting with long thin swords Gymnastics Physical exercises and activities performed inside, often using equipment such as bars or ropes, intended to increase the body's strength and the ability to move and bend easily. Medal A small metal disc with words or picture on it, given as a reward for winning a competition. Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In the previous video, we have defined and go th and went through some words related to our text. Now we are going to start discussing our text, which is on page 54, titled by the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games are a tradition from ancient Greece. They took place in Athens over 2,700 years ago. The modern Olympic Games began in 1896. Many of the sports we see today were at the original games. As you can see here guys in this paragraph, it talks about the history of the first version of the Olympic Games, which is in ancient Greece, and it started before 2700 years. So this is the first version of the Olympic Games started before 2,700 years ago. But the modern Olympic Games, the modern version or the new version started in 1896. So we have to keep in mind the first version of the Olympic Games, which, were in, which was in the ancient Greece, started before 2,700 years ago. And the new version or the modern version started in 1896. And most or many of the sports uh, we can see today in our... Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to uh, continue discussing our text. But before that, I want to remind you of the ideas we discussed Early, we talked about the history of the ancient Olympic Games and the modern Olympic Games. When did they both started? And we talked about one similarity that they shared, which is that both happen uh, each four years. Now let's move to the third paragraph. In ancient Greece, winner or winners received a crown of olive leaves to put on their heads. The modern Olympic Games started to give medals, gold, silver, and bronze in, in 1908. So, this is a difference between the ancient Greece and the modern Olympic Games, which is that in the ancient Greece, winners received a crown of olive leaves, and yani there weren't any medals at the beginning of the Olympic Games. But in the new version of the Olympic Games, which is in 1908, the Olympic Games started to um, crown or reward the winners with 
medals. طبعا depending on their places of the games. The first place take or receive a gold medal. The second place receive a silver medal. And the third receive a bronze medal. In ancient Greece, the games lasted five days. Now they last for about 16 days. This is another difference. اللي هو ال how long did they um, last or did the ancient Greece last? The ancient Greece games last for uh, just five days. But uh, the modern version, اللي هي until now, they last for about 16 days. Four sports were at the first modern Olympic Games and are still there now. They are athletics, swimming, fencing, and gymnastics. هلا هاي كمان نعتبرها احنا similarity اللي هي that both of Olympic Games, modern Olympic Games, and the ancient Greece share some sports such as uh, athletics, swimming, fencing, and gymnastics. يعني هدول الفور sports انلعبوا بال uh, first Olympic Games and modern Olympic Games. Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to answer the uh, questions or the exercises related to our text that we discussed uh, previously. We talked about the Olympic Games history and we talked about the Olympic Games, um, the ancient Olympic Games and the new Olympic Games. What is the difference between them and what do they have in common? And we also talked about the sports that we can't consider as Olympic sports and what are the addition that we had in 2006. Now let's move to exercise number two on page 54. Uh, question number one. If you were participating in the Olympic Games and you came second, which medal would you receive? A silver, bronze, or a gold medal? Um, I answered this while I'm uh, while I was discussing the text. Actually, you will receive, or you would receive a silver medal because, as I said, the first one receive a gold medal, the second one receive a silver medal, and the third one receive a bronze medal. Question number two. What are the similarities between the modern Olympic Games and the ancient Greek Games? Uh, the first one that they both happen every four years. The second one, they both have some sports such as athletics, swimming, fencing, and gymnastics. Hadola il similarities. Question number three and question number four is for you, your own opinions and your own point of view, your own answer. Exercise number three on page 55. Match the beginning and the end of each sentence. You have to be flexible and train hard. You have to hit a ball over a high net. Your horse has to be faster than other competitors. You have to fight with a long thin swords. هدول عنا ايش؟ ال things you have to do in sports. And عنا بال other column ايش هم ال sports؟ عنا fencing, gymnastics, volleyball, karyat, racing. The first one, you have to be flexible and train hard. Of course, in gymnastics because حكينا ال gymnastics اللي هي ال aim تبع ال gymnastics to be to be able to bend and move easily you have to hit a ball over a high net اللي هي ال volleyball الكرة الطائرة your horse has to be faster than other competitors اللي هو أكيد ال carrier tracing لأنه ال carrier tracing is about um, two horses uh, uh, in front of a, uh, a vehicle. You have to fight with a long thin sword اللي هي الفنسنج المبارزة.